So here is the video of uh, testing the hex clot pen. And this is the real hex, hex clot. Here it is. Um, I've used it once before, so I seasoned it first time. They want you to heat up the pan till the water starts to uh, boil and uh, evaporate. Spray. I I don't. Uh, this this is what I have right now. I I don't know about the other brands. I like this one. Um, so I spray it and what I usually do is I smear it up around the pan like this so it will be evenly coated all over but I don't get much on my food. There we go, some ravioli. I'm gonna try ravioli. And they claim that you can use metal uh, utensils. So let's, let's try with a fork. Okay, so it's been about four, four and a half minutes. Let's see. So obviously it doesn't stick. Um, and uh, the amount of browning depends, as many of you probably know, of uh, depends on the amount of oil added. So if you add more oil, the food will be more brown browned since I barely use any here I get it still pretty pale but the fact that it didn't stick anywhere is it's pretty nice and I do scrape it with a fork and it doesn't give any any signs anywhere it does heat nicely my heat is still set to the medium on a big so this is the wok uh, hex clad wok it's 12 inch and it was in a set with uh, other pants it was like their set of pants including wok here it is. You can check Hexclad. It's the original one. And I used it only once before, so well you can see the surface is nice and clean. Um, what I've noticed here with this walk is that the fact that the surface that contacts the heating surface is pretty small. It's just a little circle here, so it will take some time for this pan to heat up. Test uh, if it is ready with some water, as they suggest, and I think it's already good. So what I will be doing is I am not a fan of uh, oil. I'm trying to cook as much oil free as I can, but since I just started to use these pans, I want to give them a proper treatment. I'm going to spread the oil around. I guess I'll need some. It will, it will give you some smoke. I'll wipe the uh, excess oil from the pan and uh, we can start frying some onions prepared in advance. 
for it. It's hard to do it with one hand. Okay. So my bowl right now is frying me some onions and I can you can see on as as less oil as I could get I can I do have some really pretty browning I'm using right now the high heat but I guess I should take it down at least to medium I think it should be enough because it does seem like it's gonna soon get burned right now it looks really nice to me I'm not gonna uh, lower the heat anymore because I'm going to use just the simplest option I have <coughs> for the vegetables I'm gonna use frozen vegetables uh, and then I'll add this ravioli into this and add some water salt seasoning and we'll see how it performs overall for now the onions look just great no it's not sticking it does leave some stains you can see but it doesn't concern me much because it doesn't affect my onions at all let's add some vegetables so there we go vegetables I just added them and they are frozen the temp temperature is going to drop right away because the vegetables are frozen so we will need to raise the heat I guess to medium high but that is absolutely true that these pans do not need as much heat as regular pans especially you can feel it on the regular big pan here you can easily burn stuff on the medium setting <laughs> so be careful uh, if you use more oil uh, you don't you need less heat if you use as much oil as I do that means barely any you will probably need a little bit more heat let's see how the frozen vegetables are doing um, no it, it's not sticking at all no it's really good I can tell you uh, my previous pan that I've been using was a big Teflon Tifal uh, pan and I, I really like that pan but it was never possible to make onions brown without oil like here I did it's just awesome so I added here some uh, spice blend miso paste and soy sauce and a little bit of salt and now we'll see how and it took it took me a lot about five minutes to do all these things all this time the frozen vegetables were uh, defreezing bit by bit Frozen. I'll add these fried raviolis and by the way you can see how the surface looks after frying. So I guess that's it. We're done. We're gonna eat. Are you ready?